Hi everyone, Matt here, Simply Strength. Today's video is called Celebrity Culture, a Cancer of Human Progress. And today I'm going to discuss the negative influence of mainstream or celebrity culture on the human condition and society in general. Instigated by recent events, namely Sane Malik leaving One Direction this week, it's also been inspired by a video I've had in my favourites for a long time of Alex Jones, during which he goes off on a passionate, rage-filled rant about Justin Bieber, and I've included the link below because it's awesome viewing. And I know a lot of you might disagree with Alex on a lot of things, but, but that's fine. But I think he's totally on point with, with his thoughts and sentiments in that video. So do check it out, it's quite amusing, but has a profound message as well. I've never really understood the fascination with celebrities, be they singers, I'm, I'm talking prominent singers now, um, uh, people like Michael Bublé, for example. I mean, you could say he's a good singer, but I, I'm not into that sort of music, so it doesn't really make any bones to me. But other people like actors and actresses, models, even those particular individuals that are famous for no reason, which I'll get to in a moment. And I see it as counterproductive to human endeavour and accomplishment. At times it seems as though it's a contrived effort by the powers that be to keep us dumb and largely lobotomized. Um, some people would even go as far as to say it's the New World Order trying to control the majority of humanity, but I, I don't know if I'd subscribe to that. So any attempt that you can make to immunize yourself to this bullshit would be beneficial, and I'm going to try and help you with that. Now, I've always travelled against the current, even from being very young to the present day. I've never really subscribed to what everyone else has been into, whether that's musically or um, the things that I follow, even sports, for example. I've just seen it as counterproductive. And again, this reaffirms a lot with, with the MGTOW philosophy. It's better to be travelling alone or, or walking alone than with a crowd going in the wrong direction. I hope I've got that meme correct. And obviously MGTOW isn't mainstream, but uh, that's not really the topic of this video. I'm just trying to get, provide some allegorical content in that, in that way. But it's been many years since I stopped watching television. And the only sort of television that I do watch is, is restricted to YouTube, documentaries of interest and this is mainly due to the fact that I can customise the content that I expose myself to, so this will typically involve material on personal development, strength training, science, that includes physics, biology, anatomy, physiology. I also watch content on philosophy, music, composition, other hobbies of mine as well. So I've, I'm very distanced from, and have been for a long time, this whole fascination with, with celebrity. To be honest, I became disenfranchised with television purely because all of the channels are saturated with their own bullshit reality shows or talent competitions, such as The X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, The Voice, Dancing on Ice, Strictly Come Dancing, and it's, it's nauseating reading these out. I'd like to focus on Kim Kardashian for the moment. Well, what is she even famous for? Barely a day goes by without her and her equally talentless hub husband in the news for what seems like absolutely no reason. She was born into wealth, stepped into the limelight as a friend of Paris Hilton, another heiress who has had to you know, not even work for anything in her life. And the main story that propelled her into stardom was a sex tape. A fucking sex tape! She then went on to star in several reality TV shows where a camera crew follow these, follow these people around. And this is just my opinion, obviously, but even though they've got wealth, they're a bunch of losers. Truly. Um, and people can disagree with me all they like, but this, this is just my opinion and I reserve that right. I know people, even family members, who've watched this garbage. If you want to see just how materialistic and selfish human beings can be, you need to watch this crap. She's also branched out to start her own beauty and fragrance lines. And people actually buy this shit. She's a glorified porn star, and and it never gets it never gets shoved back down her throat. It never gets said, you know. I'm sure that you'll remember Dr. Matt Taylor from uh, last November. He's one of the scientists who helped land a probe on a comet, no less. 
and he was viciously attacked for wearing a shirt with scantily clad women on it, given to him by a woman, I might add. And I had to cringe at his apology for wearing it, not least because he was close to tears. But less was made of the fact that he's the son of a bricklayer, but he's busted his ass and got a degree from... Well, he got two degrees. He got his undergraduate from the University of Liverpool, a red brick university here in the UK, one of the fabled Russell Group universities that get considerable research funding, very historic. And he's also got a PhD in space plasma physics from the Imperial College London, another highly prestigious university, one of the best in the world. And this is all mind-blowing stuff. I've, I just can't comprehend it myself, and I truly admire it. He contributes to this effort and succeeds in, and contributes to this effort of humanity landing a probe on a comet moving 18 kilometres per second or 40,000 miles per hour. And this is an unbelievable achievement. But instead you had all of this furor around the shirt, of all things, and then at about the same time, Kardashian tries to break the internet. Can you believe the arrogance of that? With the, the picture with her, with her uh, derriere and the champagne or whatever. I didn't really pay much attention to it, but... It just annoyed me that more attention was paid to the uh, to Kim than to this massive achievement in in science. So, when you think about it very closely, and I'll come back to this in a moment, so many people waste huge swathes of their life following these idiots on Twitter and other social media, and it must take up hour upon hour out of the time. And we do talk a lot about time and resources as, as you know, tr being truly important, especially with regards to MGTOW. And here you have these people that aren't even involved in, in, in MGTOW just throwing their lives away. And, but they're oblivious to it. They don't, they're not aware of it. It's, again, it's like being plugged into some kind of matrix. The celebrities don't care about them. All they care about is their money and making sure that you, I'm, I mean the the sycophantic masses that subscribe to these celebrities and follow them on a, on a regular basis. They're kept firmly behind the barriers, screaming for autographs, and behind closed doors, they probably think about them in, with disdain. So I'll move on to the next one, and this is the more relevant case from this week. Zayn Malik leaving One Direction. I mean, who gives a fuck if Zayn Malik has quit One Direction? They're a manufactured so-called band. I mean, I was disgusted to see that in one of the tabloids, greater front-page space was appropriated to this story than to the co-pilot involved in the terrible plane crash this week. I mean, what does this say about us as a society? Do we really value some manufactured, sterile, stunted pop group more than a story about a plane crash that killed 150 people? This is a band that did not gravitate towards each other due to a common musical interest, a need for musicians jamming with each other in a basement or warehouse, grooving their act in shitholes and pubs. They were put together by Simon Cowell. It's the fakest thing you can think of. Not to mention the fact that they sing that simp-pop, thirsty drivel with song titles such as They Don't Know About Us and What Makes You Beautiful. It makes me want to throw up. And by contrast, you'll have bands that, from, for, for example, my um, chosen musical tastes, I, I like a wide range of music, ranging from classical to rock, metal, and, you know, even some, some hip-hop music uh, and rap. But, for example, let's take uh, Metallica, for example. The, these bands like this, uh, bands like Iron Maiden, let's say, they've, they've all come together from just meeting up by chance or as colleagues, um, you know, friends from school, things like that, placing ads in newspapers for because they need drummers, they need bass players, they need guitar players. Um, and there's, there is some actual screening for talent in that respect. And then they've grooved their act, travelling up and down the country, playing gigs and getting in front of people and p performing, and building a, an audience the hard way. Anyway, I'll move on because this is turning into just a rant, really, and I wanted it to be more of a, a podcast. So just to prove my point, I wanted to say that I wanted to go over the headlines, Sunday's headlines on the MSN website, just to illustrate a point about how mundane all of this is. Let's see. I'm scrolling down the page now. Obviously these will have changed. I'm intending to upload this video 
this evening, but um, if not, I'm sure you'll, you'll be able to access this and just prove the point for yourself. If you just scroll down to entertainment. First story. The, I'm just going to read the headlines out just to, just to illustrate what I've been talking about. Here are the four acts going through to the voice finals. The next headline in the Telegraph. Kelly Brook's mission to crack Hollywood boosted as writers recruited for a second series of her sitcom. Kelly Brook, I mean, she's in her early 30s. She's only really, you know, she's attractive, no doubt about it. But she's only really famous for her curves, her, her looks, and, you know, getting nude. Angelina Jolie named top feminist icon. Yeah, again, no one cares. You never, you never see headlines just to uh, amusing of mine. I've never really seen a, a headline where a guy's been named top male icon. You know? A top men's rights uh, icon or MGTOW icon. or uh, it's, um, yeah, it's odd, that one. But uh, the next headline, Find out why Kim Kardashian West blasted Kris Jenner. Oh my God, I've just been going on about Kim Kardashian and there it is, another headline about Kim Kardashian. It's every single day. Every day. Fan frenzy is Mad Men near's end. Okay, whatever. Um, I haven't watched it. I know my brother does watch it and he highly rates it. But uh, um, I'm more akin to tolerate headlines about things like that than just celebrity garbage, basically. Uh, and that's about it. I've had enough of looking through those, to be honest. So I don't really want to go through any more. But you, you get my point. And there's people, yeah, again, like I said, that, that just trawl through the Twitter, the internet, following what these people are doing, instead of actually putting that time into their own pursuits. And it's, it is a way of lobotomizing people. If you watch the Alex Jones video that I've linked to, you'll totally see my point. Just think how much more time you would have in your day. Uh, I mean, the, there's people who openly put and this is going back a few years, they would openly put on their Facebook that they don't read books. And then they'll be posting statuses about what, uh, you know, Madonna's doing or something like that. And it, it's, you don't realise these people, they don't realise what they're doing to their life. It's, it's a shame. And I partly feel sorry for them, to be honest. You read a book, read anything. Uh, you know, watch a documentary or... Start your own business or do something that's going to contribute towards humanity because you don't want to end your life and just realise that you were one of the plankton that just floated through just, just watching what these bigger fish were doing. So you can put forward the rationale that you should certainly steer clear of watching the mainstream media, the news, the entertainment news especially. And as much as I say go your own way with regards to to MGTOW and things like that, go your own way with what you're into. You know, I mean, if people say to me, go and watch this film, I'll go and make my own mind up about it. Um, and this is perhaps, you know, a wider topic to focus on. But uh, those are my thoughts on it anyway. And again, as Alex Jones says in the video, there are far better people you could look up to if you had to have celebrities. And I did cover this a little bit in my um, Heroes video. Um, and you can go and go and check that out in my playlist. But I mean, look up to someone like Nikola Tesla. I mean, you don't even have to be a MGTOW to look up to him in terms of what he achieved with his life. You know, look up to Da Vinci, look up to Newton, look up to Magellan. As Alex Jones says, Magellan circumnavigated the world with one ship, the entire planet, and was killed by wild natives before he got back to Portugal. And by the time they got back to Portugal, the ship was just rotting down to the waterline. And I think that that, should, that tells you how how many times I've watched that video. Um, but it, it really is worth a watch. You know, look up to anybody else. Look up to people like Orwell. Look up to people that have actually contributed to the human condition. Not these leeches that just take. They take your money. They take your time. And that's that's what I'm trying to get at with this video. I know it's been more of an emotional rant, but... It's something I feel really passionate about. So 
hopefully I got the message across. I mean, there are other things that I could have covered, but um, I think that'll that'll do for for today. So, if any of you have any have any questions that you'd like to pose to me on a number of different issues um, that you feel would be relevant to the channel, do check out my Patreon page, um, and I'm hopefully going to set up uh, a method of donation so that you know, obviously, because it will be it'll be taking up. Um, my time to put these put these videos together, but I really would like to to answer some questions about different issues moving forward. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that this would be appropriate or whether anything needs tweaking. Because ultimately, you know, you guys are going to to help me decide where to go with the channel. So again, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. I hope you found the video informative, and I'd appreciate your comments, likes and other thoughts down below, but uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for listening.